All right. Uh, good Monday to all of my Algebra 2 students. Um, today we are going to be going over the quadratic review packet. Um, if you have that, please go ahead and get that out if you do not already have it out. And we are going to go first over numbers 1 through 5 on your review packet. So this video will review um, numbers 1 through 5 on your quadratics review packet. So let's take a look at number one, determine the nature, how many, and type, meaning imaginary or real, of the solutions using the given information about the discriminant. So if I know that b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, that means that my discriminant is positive. Therefore, since my discriminant is positive, I know that I'm going to have two real solutions. If my discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, is equal to 0, then I know that I'm going to have one real solution. And if I know that b squared minus 4ac, the discriminant, is less than 0, that means it is negative. And since I cannot take the square root of a negative number, I know that I'm going to have two imaginary solutions, which means that I'm going to have no real solutions. Okay, if you need to pause this at any time, please feel free to do so. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go on to numbers 3 through 5. Numbers 3 through 5, without solving, you don't actually want to solve these. All you're doing here is you're determining what the value of the discriminant is. And the discriminant, remember, is just b squared minus 4ac. Does not include the radical. Does not include the negative b or the over 2a. Just the b squared minus 4ac. So for number 3, you first have to subtract 2 from both sides to get it equal to 0, which means you're left with x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. From that, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to negative 2. So to evaluate b squared minus 4ac, I'm going to plug in a negative 5 squared, subtract 4 times a times c, and evaluate that. So negative 5 squared is 25 minus um, negative 4 times 1 times negative 2, which is actually plus 8. So 25 plus 8 is then equal to 33. Since my discriminant is positive, I know that the nature of my solution is two real solutions. Uh, for the next one, I have already equal to 0, so therefore I can go straight to plugging in a equals b equals and c equals. A equals negative 1, B equals 3, and C equals negative 4. Plugging it into the discriminant, I have 3 squared minus 4 times A times C. And 3 squared is 9. 3 negatives here, so it's going to remain minus. 4 times 4 is 16, so 9 minus 16 is equal to negative 7. Since my discriminant is a negative value, I know I'm going to be left with two imaginary solutions. And for number 5, again, it's already equal to 0, so I'm going to evaluate for a, b, and c. a equals 3, b equals negative 12, and c equals 12. So therefore, I'm going to use b squared minus 4 times a times c. 12 squared is 144, minus 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 12 is, again, 144. So 144 minus 144 is 0. Therefore, I will have one real solution. This concludes the explanation for numbers 1 through 5. Feel free to rewind and re-listen as many times as needed.